Okay, so I just built Kinetic's new F-A-18C Hornet. Now that I'm out the other side, what did I make of it? Well, rather than some long, rambling thing where I talk at the camera, I figured I'd try to keep this relatively short and sweet. So let's look at the pros and cons. First, the cons. The engineering and fit of some major sub-assemblies are a real bitch. Uh, most notably the main landing gear, the intakes, and the nose. I'd highly recommend waiting for some resin intakes, and for the nose, I mean, honestly, I think good results could probably be had from cutting off the forward portion of the upper fuselage and just gluing it directly to the nose before joining everything up. Some of the stores, you know, the sidewinders and the tanks, are really solid, but the others just don't live up to the standards set by the rest of the kit, and the fit of the AMRAMs in particular was also just terrible, and not at all covered in the instructions. Speaking of which, the instructions look fine at first glance, but as you work through the build, the deficiencies mount. Shitty angles make certain sub-assemblies needlessly difficult, part numbers are frequently incorrect, and version guidance is almost non-existent. As for the ordnance, it's pretty much entirely neglected. Okay, so those are the main problem areas with the kit. But what did it get right? Aside from some small accuracy issues, you know, the two square tails, the two small wheel hubs, this kit really brings it when it comes to detail, and in some places, in my opinion, outstrips the 132nd Academy kits. Aside from a few troublesome sub-assemblies and the gear doors, this kit goes together wonderfully. I mean, I'd especially call it the cockpit fit into the fuselage, the wings, the pylons, the stabilators, and the air brake. I haven't had a chance to test them yet, but designed by Fighter Town and printed by Cartograph, I have absolutely no doubt these decals are excellent. I really wish they covered a greater time range, but at the same time I can't fault any of the seven schemes Kinetic's chosen to go with. So when I started this review I had two questions. Is this Hornet good enough to dethrone the Hasegawa kits, and does it live up to the expectations that Kinetic set for it? In both cases, I'd have to say yes, though considering the nose and intakes, I think Kinetic might have overpromised just a little bit. Still, this is a very good effort and definitely one deserving of praise. The Hornet's a tough nut to crack, and Kinetic has mostly done it. As for me, would I build one of these? Hell yes, but personally I'll be waiting for the F-A-18D and crossing my fingers that Kinetic includes VMFA-121 markings from Desert Storm. To see the full build review, check out my YouTube channel, or visit my blog at dugsmodels.com.